Now they're, they're telling us we've got to go. Um, they obviously, uh, this is a dangerous place, but the message is from internationals is we must isolate Israel. They're not accepting international law. They've broken more United Nations resolutions than any other country. They're outlaws. The, the people have to stand up now, and we're standing with the Palestinians today because it's the International Solidarity Day of Action for Palestinians. Really? Yeah. We can have some internationals in the background. Thank you. <laughs> من أجل تعزيز السلم الأهلي من أجل تعزيز العدل والسلام بالعدل والسلام عدما شباب محمد يلا قوم يلا 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 روح من هون yeah well the shoulder strap works so we're here in the basically in no man's land the buffer zone, as they call it, where people get killed. Not long ago, uh, a 91-year-old man was uh, farming his land, got killed, along with two other family members. So it's a dangerous area, and not as dangerous for us, obviously. Uh, Palestinians working here just trying to get, make a living, get by, and uh, they just get picked off as if it's target practice from the uh, Israelis in these uh, guard towers and whatnot. They were just shouting something at us in Hebrew, don't know what it was, but obviously it's... Uh, it's a serious game, especially if uh, no internationals are here. With internationals, of course, it changes the equation significantly, um, but it is no guarantee. Nonetheless, Palestinians deal with this every day. You can see them over here in the background, taking their life in their hands, just uh, trying to scrape by. Do you want to say something about your project? Just two words? Uh, about the ship? Mm -hmm. We're going to take a 1,000 passenger ship with one representative from every nation on planet Earth and I want Hugo Chavez more than anyone else. you got to be on that ship, my brother. <laughs> you are the leader of the anti-imperialist movement. So, inshallah, we'll be coming back here in the summer of 2011 with the biggest ship yet. Inshallah, sure can. Fuck him, mothers. Yalla, Vera. Vera. Yalla, yalla. Yalla, zab, tukh, 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 tukh. Yalla, zab, tukh, tukh, tukh. Yalla, tukh, tukh, tukh. Yalla, tukh, tukh, tukh. Yalla, tukh, tukh, tukh. Yalla, tukh, tukh, tukh. Whoa, that was a fucking bullet. That was a bullet, and they're firing bullets now. So, <laughs> here they go, still firing. Fired about 20 shots at least, I think. Distinctly heard uh, a couple of bullets whiz by. Same thing I heard back in the Marine Corps some 20 years ago. Very distinctive sound. So, probably just playing, to be honest. Of course, you never know if they're playing, and uh, you have to take it seriously, don't you?
You just shot a bullet that went within a yeah. metre of all of us. Are you trying to kill people? Yeah, so that's the message you're sending by shooting at peaceful demonstrators. What kind of resistance do does the Israeli IDF, the Israeli occupation forces want when they're shooting within one metre of peaceful demonstrators?